Good morning folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing whether you can capture, kill and eat pigeons from your garden. And this applies to the UK. Now, as an animal of myself, I do appreciate that such matters can be a rather remote subject and it's certainly not my intention to ruffle anybody's feathers. So please don't get in a flap about it. Now, pigeons are, of course, one of the most common birds we see in our cities, towns and gardens. They're known as feral pigeons, but they do have a Latin name. But let's face it, you know, you're not here for lesson in classics, are you? You're here because you want to know whether or not you can cook one up and get it down your clacker. Now, you can find pigeons almost everywhere. You can find them sitting on ledges on windowsills of buildings, sheltering under bridges, or simply waddling around our urban areas looking for scraps of food. Now it's fair to say that many people view pigeons as vermin and they regard them as pests full of fleas, lice, and riddled with germs and disease. On the other hand though, there are of course those people who rear pigeons as pets, race them, and some pigeons even tumble in the air. And believe it or not, they're called tumbling pigeons. Now, pigeons have been eaten by numerous cultures for centuries, probably millennia, and are described by enthusiasts as being tasty, nutritious, and full of protein. You may or may not know that young pigeons are called squabs and are believed to be rather tasty. Now, just to be clear about this, I'm specifically talking about feral pigeons, which you find in your garden. I'm not talking about those grossly mutated and disfigured specimens found on the ledge outside your office window or hobbling outside McDonald's clamouring for the most tasty bits somebody boffed up the previous evening. I would also stress that I'm not talking about homing pigeons either. I would hate to think that somebody might inadvertently cook one up. I certainly wouldn't want that to come back and haunt you. So to consider this question then we'll take a sticky beak at the legislation surrounding this and this is contained within Schedule 2 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. Now the starting point for this will be found in the description of the Act which states as follows. All naturally occurring wild birds in Great Britain are protected from persecution by the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. It is illegal to kill, injure or take any wild bird to take or damage the nest of any wild bird whilst in use or being built. The eggs of all wild birds are also protected. So that's pretty clear, isn't it? This act makes it explicitly clear that it is illegal to kill, injure or take any wild bird. Now, typically with legislation regarding wild animals, there are also a number of exceptions which allow to authorise people to do that which would be otherwise illegal within the terms of the Act. So the government have issued a number of general licences which enable people to kill wild birds in certain conditions and the three main general licences are GL40, 41 and 42. Okay, so now let's turn to the statutory guidance relating to the general license GL40. So this is a general license then to kill or take certain species of wild birds to conserve wild birds, flora or fauna of conservation concern. And it's valid for two years until the 31st of December 2023. Right, so let's have a look at the legal basis for the licence then, and it makes it quite clear that this licence will cover situations whereby there is no other satisfactory solution regarding the species and purpose that the licence covers. Now, if we have a look at the purpose of the licence then, it makes it quite clear that first of all, you need to be an authorised person. So what's an authorised person? This will be somebody who is either the owner or occupier of the land on which the action authorised by the licence is to be taken or indeed any person authorised to do so by the owner or occupier of the land. 
And if you are this authorised person, then you have the legal right to kill or take the permitted target species, to take, damage or destroy nests, or take or destroy the eggs. So what we need to do then is to determine whether or not feral pigeons fall within this general licence. So if we have a look at table one then, we're looking for the feral pigeon. So if we have a scroll down here, look, I can't see the pigeon anywhere. So basically it's not covered by this license. So what we're going to do then, let's go on and have a look at the other general license, GL41. So once again, we're looking at the statutory guidance and this is a general license to kill or take certain species of wild birds to preserve public health or public safety. So as per the previous license then, this is valid for two years from the 1st of January 2022 to the 31st of December 2023. Once again, the legal basis of the license is that there is no other satisfactory solution to meet the purposes that this license covers. So the purpose of the license then is to allow the authorised person to carry out activity regarding certain species contained within the license for the purpose of preserving public health or public safety. And as per the previous license, this will give you the opportunity to kill these species, to take damage or destroy the nest, or to take or destroy the eggs. So let's have a look at table one then to see whether or not we can find the feral pigeon listed um, as one of the target species within this license. And there it is, look, feral pigeon, Latin name, Columba livia. So this license then, GL41, gives an authorised person the right to kill or take feral pigeons or damage their eggs or nests to preserve public health and safety. Now, what does it mean by public health and safety? It refers to slips and falls, the spread of human disease and issues with bird nesting. So you can do it under this license for those purposes and those purposes only. But the thing is, of course, you're not bothered about slips and falls. You're not really bothered about the spread of human disease, are you? And you're not bothered about issues with bird nesting. You want to know whether or not you can capture, kill, cook up and eat a feral pigeon from your garden. This does not give you the right to do that. So the answer is absolutely clear. You cannot do that. You can't just take a pigeon from your garden and eat it. So let's go to the third general license, GL42. So this is a general license to kill or take certain species of wild birds to prevent serious damage. As per the other two licenses, it's valid for two years from the 1st of January 2022 to the 31st of December 2023. Again, the legal basis of the license is that it's available to an authorised person, providing there are no alternative methods to meet the needs or the purpose of that license. So providing you are an authorised person, again, this gives you the legal right to kill, to take damage or destroy the nests or the eggs of the permitted target species. So let's have a look at table one then to see whether or not the feral pigeon falls within this general license, which stipulates the prevention of serious damage. So the answer is yes, it does. There we go, the feral pigeon then. So you can only use this license for two specific conditions. And that is where livestock are concerned and your intention is to stop the spread of disease from livestock feedstuffs and also to protect crops, fruit, and vegetables but for no other purpose so can you rely on this license and the answer is again no you can't you do not have the legal right to do so under this license right folks so let's wrap this up then so we've had a look at the legislation regarding the killing of wild birds with particular regard to feral pigeons We've had a look at the legislation and also the exceptions to that. So we've determined that there are three general licenses which will enable you to kill feral pigeons, providing that certain conditions apply. But the fact is, in the scenario we're looking at, where you want to kill and eat a feral pigeon from your garden, it's quite clear 
that you cannot and to do so would be a criminal offence. Anyway folks, look, thank you very much indeed once again for joining me with another one of my videos. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If you haven't already done so, please feel free to subscribe, like and share the videos. The more you do so, the more exposure you'll get on YouTube and therefore the more incentive there is to make more videos. Thank you very much indeed. Take care.